If you guys are struggling with studying for the SAT June or any SAT, I do highly recommend joining my Discord and using all of its perks. I will be hosting free SAT live streams every week for every single person who joins. You don't have to be a member. It does not matter. So join right now. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going over some key tips for the SAT June. But before that, I have a quick little plug. And that is if you guys are interested in crypto or stocks or investing in your future and financial growth and business in general, then check out my second channel link in the description below where I post the best cryptos to buy, what to invest in and all that goody goody. But now the SAT June is here and I know it is alarming for a lot of people, especially because it is, I think, four days away. So it's crunch time. And a lot of students, I'm sure, are scrambling to study and they don't know what to do with the week out. And they're probably wondering, hmm, should I stick to my current study regime? What should I do? Well, I'm gonna break it all down in this video. So the first major tip I'm going to give you guys is to prepare for the worst. Now, I'm not trying to scare you all, although you guys would probably be scared. But the reason I'm saying prepare for the worst is because the June SAT historically has been one of the harder SATs. If I am correct, I think it was either the June SAT or one of the SATs around the June, the June SAT where people were demanding that the June SAT curve should be recalculated because students were doing so bad on it. So the June SAT is known to just be historically hard. And I've actually pulled up the historical data of the June SAT and I've seen like the breakdown. If you get some problems wrong, your score will drop. I just want you to know that your score will drop. So hopefully the June SAT of this year isn't like the past two years. Maybe this one's a little easier, maybe the curve is a little nicer. I don't know for sure. That is why I'm saying to prepare for the worst because historically, it's, it's pretty bad. Good thing I have SAT notes that you guys can use. Now, my second tip is to go into this exam with two possible mindsets. Since this exam is very hard, you may have to switch your mindset from what it used to be. So well, usually when you take the SAT, you have one plan, right? To do the best on both sections. To do the best on the SAT math and to do the best on SAT reading. But what you can do since the super score is such a valid thing to do in a lot of colleges except the super score, you can just go into the June SAT focusing on one section only. So maybe you want to focus only on the math section so you study purely math for this last week. And on the next SAT you take after June SAT, so I'm guessing the August SAT since there is no July one, you will study only SAT reading and the goal is you do amazing on the math section for the June SAT and you do amazing on the reading section for the August SAT and you super score the scores to get an amazing 1560 score or something. This obviously has its pros and cons because what if you do bad on the SAT math section for the June one? Then on the August one, you gotta do good on both. If this is your first SAT you're taking, I do highly recommend that you focus on both sections because you want to try to see where you stand on both sections versus just one and totally like mess up the other because it's better that you have a good score on both versus a great score on one section and a horrible score on the other. Now colleges, I'm pretty sure can't tell, you know, what you got in the ST math section, what you got in the ST reading section. They just see your overall score, but it still helps you for in terms of super score because if you do good or decently good on both areas and maybe you get like a 780 in math, and like a maybe a 680 in English. In the August one, you can just focus purely on English. In fact, that's what I did. I got a 790 math, 740 reading. So on the first SAT that I took, so on the second one, I have a mindset of, I'm just gonna focus on the reading section. But I did, and all of a sudden, my reading score dropped to 690, my math score went up to 800, which is pretty funny how that worked out. Now, my last tip is to review your study notes and take one practice exam two days before June 5th, so June 3rd. Now, the reason I say study notes is because you want to constantly review material that is a summation of everything you've learned over the course of your SAT study. Constantly review it, constantly memorize the formulas, constantly memorize the grammar rules, all that stuff, which is including my SAT notes, at least the math stuff. And by doing that, you're programming your brain to remember all of this information second nature. So if you ever have to use arc length or circumference equals X or 360, your brain will know how to solve that equation super fast. And the reason I say take a practice exam two days before the exam is because you want to see where you're at. And also let me add further context, don't just take any practice exam. Take a practice exam that you've already taken. Now, you may be like, whoa, 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 why would I take an exam I already took? The reason I'm saying this is because this is mainly one to see if you progress because if you took it like a month ago and you got 1310, you better at least have got the 1380 or 1400 this time around. But that's to show improvement. Secondly, it's a great confidence booster. Honestly, this is what I did. I took SAT practice test two, which I already had taken, I think, twice before. I took it two days before the exam 
and I knew I was going to get a higher score, obviously. And some of the answers I may have been able to recall, but I was still able to work out the actual work for each problem so I know why this answer was correct. And just doing that, helping my brain make connections and rehearsing like past information, it just gave me a big confidence boost and told me that I was ready for my SAT in two days. And it worked out. I ended up getting 1530 and here I am. So be sure to take that exam two days before, even if you don't want to, and you do not have to do it all in three hours. What I did was I took the math in the morning and the reading like in the afternoon, and that's when I got my final score. I took the exam on Khan Academy, the online version, because why not? But these are my tips for SAT June, so be sure to implement them within this last week of studying. Also, check out my second channel if you want to learn how to make money. You're probably in high school watching this. It does not matter. It's never too early to start. Get that crypto and start investing and become a millionaire by the time you're done college. Thank you all for watching. Peace out, dude. Peace out, dude. Peace.